Hi everyone, I just found out about um, how is everyone doing? I just found out there is something called MDFSR. I didn't know this before. I was aware of this before, kind of not much interested that much. Um, image scaling or filtering thing uh, for gaming. But after checking this out, I'm blown away. This is, I would say, the next big thing for Linux gaming because um, a lot of the people will get benefit from this so far i'm gonna show you guys um what it's gonna do so what it does and the fsr is kind of image escaling escalating thing so if you have a game running at lower resolution it will scale it up or apply some filtering to make it look like uh you are looking at a high resolution game so it does a really good job. I just tested it. Uh, I'm just blown away. So let's get to it. So what do you need to do? Uh, basically at the moment uh, it works with any games or any window. It should work with any Windows game uh, if you have correct version of Wine. You need a specific version of Wine which has um, this uh, FSR support. So once you download that, uh, you should be able to play any game with this support. Uh, today I'm gonna test uh, what you have to do first. Uh, you have to download that particular specific wine version, uh, which I have downloaded here. Uh, Luitrius GE, Glorious Acro, maybe many of you know already what is this. And then uh, you have to extract it. Uh, I'm not using Lutris uh, game front end, game, uh, what is it, game runner front end. I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna run from command line. Or you can use Lutris, uh, but I'm gonna show my way. Anyway, so I just downloaded this so particular one version. I put the link in the, in the description if you guys wanna download it. Once you download it, just extract it in a folder. I extracted that in my downloads folder. And once you are there, you have uh, you should see this file, these folders. And then uh, uh, I'd go to my game folder. I'm gonna test today Need for Speed Underground with this particular image scaling uh, technology. And that AMD um, recently released, I suppose. And some people uh, clever people they implemented this in uh, inside wine now and it works with any game uh, that's what I heard from people uh, until I tested it out myself so it works really good uh, so what I did for my game to run the game since I'm not using any front end to run the game um, I'm not using a steam I'm not using Lutris. I just create a created a bash a script inside the game folder as you can see I, I just named it run dot sh uh, you can create a file like this just create new file text file just give it any name and then dot sh should be should be okay and then go to the properties and take the executable flag and inside that file I show you what I have so this file is kind of gonna run the game I say script to run the game. So you have to put this line so that it uh, it identifies uh, it's no so it's a script. So I'm telling it's a script uh, because I'm gonna use my AMD 10 years old AMD graphics card. It's quite amazing uh, this uh, new scaling technology. Uh, so I tested it and it even works on this quite old graphics card i'm blown away so this is a great news for people who doesn't have a recent or expensive graphics card still want to play a lot of the games with uh, good graphics and beautiful graphics i would say so i have a red and so this line particularly is telling because i'm gonna use a dxvk uh, because the uh, game is uh, is a direct x game dxvk to get better performance so this line is gonna tell where's my Vulcan so it's gonna use my AMD graphics card because I have dual graphics card set up on my system it's gonna use my AMD graphics card as a Vulcan source 
uh, you can go to this particular folder to see what other um, uh, to figure out your particular one and this is means uh, this means uh, it's a 32 bit version of Vulkan because uh, this is a uh, need for speed underground it's a 32 bit application and then I have this uh, you need this line because I'm gonna use this to run the game because I'm gonna use a custom version of wine which I just downloaded and located in my download folder so the first line I have to put is this so I just go to where I don't go to the folder where I downloaded the custom one and then copy this line and then come back to my run file and just paste it here and the rest of the lines uh, rest of these lines should be exactly the same it's just telling to use custom wine version so we're not using the system one the one installed on the system and that's it i'm going to use mango heart for displaying the fps and i'm going to put this flat so i don't want to see any um excessive information into the terminal and then this is the line we need for getting the md fsr so it's going to act this um environment vector variable is going to activate that uh, FSR functionality inside our game so when we run the game at lower resolution um, this particular flag will uh, tell wine to activate the AMD FSR so that the game will be uh, scaled up and um, some particular fancy filter will be applied and then it, it will magically look beautiful <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna demonstrate it now that's it uh, uh, that's all we need here the last line is just telling uh, to use wine and the mango heart and run NSFX file that's it so I'm gonna close this file uh, save it and then open a terminal here and I'm just gonna run the file which is on SH that's it uh, now I'm gonna shut down my microphone so that we can hear the game sound. Maybe it's a good idea. Um, we don't need to hear the game sound. So I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen. So let's run the game. No, no. So the my screen is resolution, the native resolution of my monitor is 1080p. So if you run the game at your native monitor resolution, it's not gonna do anything. It's gonna just run uh, as normally. But if I uh, change the game resolution lower than my monitor uh, resolution, native resolution, then it's gonna activate FSR. Oops, what's gonna happen? Cancel, yes. And then it's gonna activate the FSR and upscale the game resolution to match the native resolution. So I suppose, as you can see now, we are running the game at um, 1080p and I set everything to high. This is a 10 years old graphics card. So we are running at 1080p and everything is um, high now all the settings uh, put it to maximum uh, we are getting about 30 to 40 fps at this setting because this is a quite old graphics card it was not designed for running games at 1080p so it still can run you can see is it still playable is smooth uh, it can handle the game at 1080p and we are getting about 30 fps and the image quality is good great it's not just good now what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, reduce the resolution to see how the FSR works and whether it's gonna degrade the image quality whether it's gonna improve the image quality what while we reduce the resolution now let's run at 
same as 20p now something changed we just reduced the resolution to 720p and uh, FPS went up 10 FPS roughly and I don't see any considerable uh, I would say the image quality I still feel is quite amazing at this resolution it doesn't look that bad so AMD FSR is really doing a good job upscaling or applying some kind of fancy filter which makes the game feel like you're running at higher resolution I mean it's not exact high resolution but it looks good it's better than um, if you're actually running at a lower resolution so the game looks way better without a without MD FSR than what's happening I have to evade this guy I will evade the police then I should be able to what the heck I don't want to get caught the police suspect blah 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 so the only difference I see um, this is still okay I would say Okay, let's try to lower the resolution more. So what happens, uh, I'll show you. So if we bring it down to say 800 by 20. It is still looks alright. I have to say. This resolution. This game was never designed for this resolution. For playing at this resolution. But it is still looks quite good. With MD FSO. And uh, the F, I would say FPS, in terms of FPS, we're getting roughly 5 more FPS more, 5 or 10 uh, FPS up. So let's try to lower the resolution more. Uh, one obvious thing I noticed uh, after this uh, the in-game text like you can see it's got a blurry edge of course he is trying to uh, upscale thing let's try the lowest resolution of the game and see how does it look I have to agree at this resolution it looks amazing for this game I mean This is the lowest resolution you can go, but it's still the game is quite enjoyable. Of course, it's not like a real native resolution 1080p, but I would say the experience is quite good. Uh, there's no blurry or sharp edge. I can't see any blurriness or sharpness or I'm not getting any strange feeling about it. It's just better image quality, that's all. Normally what happens, uh, some of the, if you apply a bilinear filter or something, um, it introduces blurriness in the game, but with this MDFSR, it feels pretty natural, but still, it just feels natural so this is quite amazing so now we're getting like FPS is more off further off uh, depends on where you are and 
of course i'm doing multiple things recording the screen with nvidia um so cpu utilization is quite high i'm not sure whether this mdf fsr depends on the cpu so it, if it depends on the cpu then um because of the recording and all other things we're not getting what we should be getting and also it de if it depends on the newer generation of the graphics card then because this is quite old it's still functioning uh, this and for this i suppose that's because this graphics card has vulcan so if you have any vulcan supported graphics card or md graphics card uh I guess it should work. So this should enable uh, you to play more recent games on older cards at a lower resolution. I mean, play and enjoy at least uh, with a higher FPS. So. I guess that's about it as you can see already uh, let's post it up again uh, it up. that's it now we are running at lady so it's not it's not that different I would say the experience is not It's quite amazing. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, yep, yeah, I think that's it. Please let me know if you guys try this out and how it goes in the video comments. Thank you so much. Until next time.